Bitcoin Shape Project, which is the Bitcoin implementation, the, the Java implementation of Bitcoin. Um, today I'm going to uh, do a demo of RSK. In particular, I'm going to focus on our two-way peg implementation. Um, how many of you have heard about RSK or know anything about it? Uh, well, so first, can you speak up a little bit? Excuse me. Can you speak up a little bit? Ah, okay. Um, so the idea is first uh, do a recap of what RSK is, uh, what the two-way peg is, and then move on to explain how we implemented the two-way peg do a demo of it, and then show you some part of our tools code. So RSK is a blockchain. Uh, it's implemented as a Bitcoin sidechain. That means that uh, we don't issue any coins, we don't do an ICO, uh, we don't mint any coins. Um, we use uh, smart Bitcoins as a coin, uh, which can be transferred from the Bitcoin blockchain. Um, RSK is also a smart contract platform and we can run any contract that was written to work on the Ethereum virtual machine. That means that if you wrote a contract in Solidity, it can run on RSK. And we also support the Web3 interface. So if you've written a decentralized application that was ready to work with Ethereum, it can, it can work with uh, RSK too. Uh, we do mining through proof of work. Specifically, we use a technique called merge mining, which allows miners to, both, to, to mine both Bitcoin and RSK at the same time without uh, needing to buy any special hardware or stopping mining Bitcoin to mine RSK. Another key part of our project is the federation. Uh, the federation is comprised by the most renowned companies in the blockchain space and they provide uh, a lot of services to, to the network. Specifically, I'm going to uh, tell today about um, the, the role the federation plays in the two-way play. The consensus mechanism is similar to the Nakamoto consensus and we added two other protocols, Ghost and, and Decor. And we have a focus to provide lots of transactions per second. So, um, what is a two-way pay? It's, it's a mechanism to transfer funds from one blockchain to another and then send them back from uh, the secondary blockchain to the main blockchain. In our case, uh, you can lock Bitcoins at a specific block and then we'll sometime later on appear on the RSK blockchain and uh, if you want to send them back to Bitcoin you lock them on the RSK platform and they will magically appear back on the Bitcoin blockchain. Um, so uh, we use elliptic curve cryptography so if you have uh, a private key which generates a public key and a Bitcoin address you can use the same public keys to generate a an RSK address, um, so you will need to copy your private key from your Bitcoin node to your RSK node to share, to, to, to do the two-way payment. Our um, implementation of the two-way pay is a hybrid implementation. We use a mechanism to transfer funds from Bitcoin to RSK and another mechanism to send them back. Um, to send funds to RSK, we use uh, an SPV sidechain. Uh, that's an idea that was uh, generated or popularized by Blockstream. And we use that uh, plus some minor changes. Uh, to send money back, um, we use a federation. Uh, the federation manages a pay to see three cash multi sig address. Um, so let's explain how it works. More detail. So, to send money from Bitcoin to RSK, you open your Bitcoin wallet, you send a transaction to a pay to script hash address that is controlled by the federation, 
then the transaction is included in the block, and then there are a number of confirmations in the Bitcoin blockchain. And once that happens, uh, our federators will notice that and will inform uh, of to will inform uh, the bridge contract of that uh, of that new situation. <coughs> the bridge contract is a contract that is um, is a kind of uh, a special contract embedded in our platform um, because the code is uh, pre-compiled within the within the node. Um, and the bridge contract is the one that manages the, the, the two-way pay inside the RSK blockchain. So the, the federators will inform um, the bridge contract of the new blocks on the Bitcoin blockchain and also of the new transaction sending funds to, to the federation. And if uh, they will include an SPV proof that uh, demonstrates that that transaction is included in a, a specific block. Uh, once that is that happens, uh, the bridge contract will release funds on the RSK platform. Um, so let's say I, I transfer some funds, and I want them, to, I want to send them back. Um, so the bridge contract will register uh, the transaction that that was sent from Bitcoin to RSK, and will register the unsent transaction output that it can use to, to send the money back. So when I want the money back, I send a transaction with the smart Bitcoins on the RSK platform uh, to the bridge contract, and the bridge contract will generate a Bitcoin transaction, uh, and federators will notice that, and they will go and sign that transaction with their key. Once enough federation, federators have uh, signed the transaction, uh, they will notice that the signature is complete and any of them will broadcast that transaction to the Bitcoin network and eventually that transaction will be mined and uh, the person will receive the funds back on the Bitcoin blockchain. So let's, uh, let's go and do a demo of this. Okay, so I have um, a Bitcoin wallet here. It's Bitcoin to T uh, running on Rectest. So I have 5,000 Bitcoins of balance. That's one transaction where I receive the 5,000 Bitcoin. And I'm going to send a transaction to the Federation address. So I have here. for Bitcoins. Well, before I do that, I'm going to check what uh, the balances are on the RSK platform. Um, I have um, an RSK node already running, uh, and the interface, as I said, is web free. So the same way you interact with Ethereum, you can interact with RSK. So I have two commands prepared. Right, so, um, yeah, I don't know why that was executed twice. Okay, anyway, um, so you can see that uh, the bridge contract um, uh, balance is 21 million, uh, which is free created on our system. And we, you can check that all the, um, uh, the balance on my account is, is zero. So I'm going to, to send the funds. <coughs> okay. And I'll check again. You can see that the balance were not modified. That's because the transaction I just sent on the Bitcoin network is still unconfirmed. Since I'm running on rec test, I can mine some blocks here. Uh, I'll mine six blocks. Okay, now the transaction is fully confirmed. So I am going to check again on the RSK node what the balances are. Now I see that the bridge balance was decreased by four bitcoins and my balance is 
now for this um, So let's say I want to send some money back to the to my Bitcoin address, um, and what I'll do is I'll I have here a transaction that sends one smart Bitcoin to the bridge contract. So I send that, and after a while, that money will appear on the um, on um, on my here on my Bitcoin wallet. Um, so let's recap what happened in here behind the scenes. So I send the transaction, the bridge contract created a Bitcoin transaction, uh, the federator signed that transaction and then broadcasted that transaction to the Bitcoin network. Um, let's um, go back to the source code for just a moment. Uh, um, So our source code is written in Java. We have reused a lot of um, the Ethereum shellcode, and we also use uh, a lot of uh, Bitcoin shellcode. Um, so here I have um, a method of the bridge contract, which is receive header. Um, the, the bridge contract uh, has a copy of the Bitcoin blockchain, an entire copy. Well, it's not a duck, it's, it's not a full copy, it's just the header, but it has all the headers. So when a federator sends um, the bridge contract information about the new or a couple of new um, Bitcoin headers, uh, it will simply add them to its copy of the Bitcoin blockchain. That's quite easy. Now, um, this is kind of more interesting. Um, the register BTC log is what is involved when a federator wants to uh, send the bridge contract information about a new transaction sending money to the federation. <coughs> so this uh, contract received a, a Bitcoin transaction, the block height, it was included, and a partial market tree that acts as uh, an SPD group. So this um, this is what we do. We first check that the Bitcoin transaction was not already redeemed, so all people redeeming uh, money twice. Uh, then we check that the transaction, well, the hash of the transaction, is included in the partial market tree used as an SPV proof. Sorry. Then we check that the height of the block is greater than zero, <coughs> and that the block uh, is uh, has a, a lot of confirmations. Uh, we'll probably use like 100 or 144 to match it. Will never be reverted. Uh, well, we check that. We will get the block header at that height, and we will convert the Merkle root of that block to the Merkle root of the SPV SPV proof provided. And after that, we'll check that the transaction is okay and the transaction is a log transaction, so it means that it's sending funds to the federation, and uh, well, that it has any inputs. And once we have checked that, um, we mark that transaction as already redeemed. And here is an interesting part. Uh, at the moment, we just support transactions sending money to RSK and spending Pay uh, to key hash addresses, so these normal Bitcoin addresses starting with one. So in that kind of uh, transactions, um, the in the input uh, in the input of the transaction, the script C uh, has two elements, and the second element is the public key of the sender. So we will get that the second element, and we will create. Um, um, a public key, uh, an easy key on our platform, and we'll get the address in the RSK format. And then we'll get uh, how much money was sent on that Bitcoin transaction, and the bridge contract will transfer um, that amount of smart Bitcoins to that 
to, to, the, to the match address on, on the RK platform. And finally, it will save the new UTXOs that were added by the, by the transaction uh, to use them later on when uh, you need to send back funds back to, to Bitcoin. So let's back to the presentation. Okay, so to sum up, um, RSK is a blockchain where you can run a smart contract and you can run a EVM style smart contract. Um, it's implemented as Bitcoin sidechain. So we use uh, smart Bitcoin as a currency and it's mined through merge mining with the Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, we have a hybrid model um, to send money to the federation, sorry, to send money to RSK you, you, we use uh, an SVB sign chain, and to send money back to, uh, to Bitcoin, we use the federation. Um, we have uh, presented uh, a Bitcoin improvement proposal uh, to make a software so a dry chain can be, um, can be accepted. So once that uh, moves on, uh, we will move to a spot <coughs> where a dry chain plus federation uh, is uh, managing the the transfer from RSK to Bitcoin. So that's all. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, uh, 